Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Deanne and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about birth control today. How many of you ladies out there have been on birth control at one point or another in your life? Myself, I definitely have. And how long did you stay on that? Um, how old were you? What were the reasons? I myself, I am 47 and I have just recently decided to make a big move of coming off of it after 23 years of being on the birth control. Now, each of us has our own different reason for being on birth control. Myself, um, it was a big deal for sure to ensure that I did not ever have children. And I am very grateful that that has not ever happened. Praise God. Um, but, you know, each of us does our own thing for our own reasons. And I... Um, the another reason I went on it is because it really helped me with my moods, my uh, emotions. They can just fluctuate so much with all the hormones, dips and and uh, low uh, valleys and mountains and and all those kind of things. And um and then of course my my PMS was horrific before I started going on to birth control. So that came under control. And then of course, the length of my menstruation, it was just absolutely fantastic. It went from like seven to eight days down to maybe one to two, possibly three at, at times. And um, I didn't experience cramps and all of that while I was on birth control. Thank God. It was absolutely amazing. I could not be more grateful for being on birth control. Um, um, I don't believe that I ever really experienced a really bad problem with my face breaking out. Um, I didn't have any adverse reactions. Um, I, I really experienced a good quality control and maintenance of my body size and weight and all that kind of stuff. I didn't end up gaining a whole lot of weight and I didn't really lose a whole lot of weight all of a sudden. So I was very grateful about that. Um, but one of the things that I did do just recently is talk to a doctor and she goes, oh yeah, you just come off of it. I'm like, okay, after 23 years of putting a drug and a hormone, a fake hormone into my body, that is going to have a major, major effect. And uh, so I started doing my own reading and research and preparation in uh, for coming off of birth control. A couple of things that I did. Um, first of all, I am a very avid walker and I will walk whether it is raining, windy, um, sleet, snow, really cold, really hot. About the only time that I did not walk this past year, we had a couple of days where it was around 43 degrees um Celsius, and that is up near a hundred degrees, and maybe hundred and four, something like that. I will do the conversion for my American friends, um, but it was very hot, so I did not walk on those days. And then, um, and then, like if it is super, super cold, and there's just so much ice on the ground that I, it's too slippery and precarious for me to be walking. So I, I like to take care of myself. But being outside and being connected to nature is so important to me. And I believe that that has made a huge uh, impact on the transition between me being on it and actually coming off. Another thing that I did, and I know that I posted a long time ago, was back in May. May the 11th was the last time that I ever actually took in um, Coca-Cola into my body. And I am very grateful that I, I was able to kick that habit. It was an addiction. It is an addiction. And um, it is something that I'm probably hopefully not going to all the rest of my life be fighting. But um, I just I'm grateful that it is no longer a part of my of my uh, energy realm. And then alongside of that, I will I also stopped drinking alcohol. It alcohol has never been really a big deal in my life. I certainly don't miss it. And it's something that I will allow myself should the opportunity come around that I go, hey, let's have a drink or whatever, then that's fine. It's not something like, oh, I'm not ever going to touch that again. Um, but that is kind of how I feel about uh, Coca-Cola and uh, just 
putting away that addiction. So I'm happy with those changes that I've made. Um, I've always been a person who uh, it takes really good care of my health. I'm really careful about what I put into my body and I like to be aware of absolutely everything that I put into my body and make sure that it is of the utmost uh, highest quality and um and then even if it is something like I'll I'll have a, a piece of cheese or whatever, I try to do that with um, as much care and attention and just say, you know what, this is because I am allowing myself to have this piece of cheese. I am grateful for this piece of cheese and um, thank you to everything that, uh, that made it come about for this piece of cheese to be in existence. So um, I'm mindful of that kind of thing. So I finally said, okay, this is it. This is the day that I'm going to stop taking birth control. And um, so I did just exactly that. Now, the thing that happened to me, um, I all of a sudden, after the first day off of it, I was fine because I always have those seven days where, um, where I, so it was a 21 day cycle. I would do the pills for the 21 days and then I would stop. I would have that menstruation and then, um, and then start again on that eighth day or the very first day of the next cycle and then take that uh, that hormone into my body. Um, but then, um, so day one of not taking it, it would have been like day eight, I guess. And then, um, then that second day, that is where everything started to just like kind of oh, a change within my system. And I, anytime I would stand up for over five minutes, all of a sudden I would become very dizzy and lightheaded and I would have to go and lay down. And, um, I, I found myself napping a lot and sleeping a lot. Like even if I was napping throughout the day I would have a full night's worth of sleep and um, sometimes nine ten hours worth of sleep and it's just as the, my body was detoxifying getting rid of all of those things um, I drink a lot of water and I also drink a lot of non caffeinated herbal tea um, so that that is a really big thing in my life I don't take it I don't drink coffee I'm allergic to it and uh, a lot of juices fruit juices I don't drink those either because that all makes me break out as well um, for whatever reason I'm guessing that it's the chemicals in there and uh, it just taking away all of the pureness and whatnot of actual true real fruit um, so yes and then the other thing that I did because I'm aware of the fact that any kind of a change in your hormones can cause yeast infections that is something that I was very aware of going into it and I had purchased a candida cleanse for myself that I took for 15 days as I started taking myself off of the birth control and uh, thankfully because I was doing that I was not experiencing uh, any yeast infections so that was absolutely wonderful it made that transition so comfortable for me and I'm very grateful for that so um, yes so my reasons for being on it uh, they I, I've I've I was worried about the fact that oh my goodness what if I throw myself into menopause and what if I uh, what if I gain a whole bunch of weight and what if like all these what ifs are going through my mind and I have now completed a uh, one full month of not being on birth control I have menstruated normally and uh, I do believe I have a number of years before I actually hit menopause thank God um, but yes I am doing well I am happy I am very happy with the changes that I have made for myself and within myself and the less that I have to rely on the system of uh, of the matrix and whatnot, the happier that I am. So I'm very excited about that and I'm feeling very blessed. If you have any questions at all that I could possibly answer for you, by all means, in the comments section below, let me know, type it out. I read everyone's comments and I try to respond to as many as possible. If you are brand new, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and um, yeah, leave leave a comment, ring the bell because I kind of post randomly on here, but I try to bring you good content that is interesting and, um, 
yeah but anyways yeah i'd love to hear from you i look forward to what is coming up next in my life and uh you know what the next couple of posts will hopefully be a little bit more fun i just hope this one was informative for you i love every single one of you thank you so much for being with me today and until i see you next i pray that you are blessed